In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to estimate customer lifetime value or CLV in Excel. And we are also going to demonstrate how CLV may change with the churn rate or retention rate and how it may vary with both retention rate and interest rate. So first, let me introduce the table. Here we have three sets of the data. First, is the retention rate currently fixed at 0.8 or 80 percent and the interest rate is 15 percent. If we know the retention rate we can actually calculate the churn rate it's simply equal to 1 minus the retention rate of 80 percent. So right now the churn rate is 20 percent. At the bottom here we have the number of years the customers are with us and uh, here is a projection of the mean or average profit the customer could generate for us over time. As you see, longer customers, they tend to generate more value for the company. This is common. So for a simpler scenario like Netflix, this number may be fixed. But Excel actually gives us the flexibility to allow this number to vary over time. And uh, in the beginning, as you see here, the profit is negative with a loss of $40. This is very common in a customer lifetime value calculation because in the beginning, you may be running some promotions or free trials with the customers. So your profit is actually negative. You incur a loss to acquire this customer. The number column represents the total number of customers. So in this case, we use 100 customers as a base. As we know, customers churn over time, so this number will decay over time. And we're going to do that calculation. And then based on the average profits we have for each customer and the number of customers, we can calculate the profit of these 100 customers over time. And then after that, we can calculate the customer lifetime value for each customer here and that calculation as you'll see it will calculate the profit at the end of the year we're going to convert it back to the beginning of the year so that gives us the actual clv calculation for each customer and on the right we're going to look at how does clv change with different retention rate so the retention rate currently at 0.8 what if the retention rate rises to 90% or even 99%? How does that influence the customer lifetime value? And even more, Excel allows us to make this estimation on two dimensions, when retention rate varies and also when the interest rate varies from 5% until 15%. So now let's start the calculations. And the first step, let's name these numbers, churn rate, retention rate, and interest rate. To do this calculation, so you'll be at home. Now go to formulas and create from selection. And now Excel has automatically selected using left column. That's what we want. So click OK. And now if you look at the name manager, you'll see that we have named churn rate, interest rate, and retention rate accordingly. Close this. And now we start a calculation. And we know that the number of customers starts from 100. Now in the second year, this number starts to drop. It will be equal to 100 times the retention rate. and then enter. So now we just need to copy this down, double click. That's all we need. And let me shrink the digits to make them easier to read. Give them a couple of digits. All right, as you see, the number of customers would drop to below one, but it's not really a problem. Imagine a bank, the base number may not be a hundred, it could be a thousand or a million. So there will be some small number of customers left over time from the original cohort of a hundred. So next, the profit is equal to the mean profit per customer in cell B6 here times 
the number of customers and enter more than this I'm gonna use a dollar and keep a smaller number of digits all right so now just copy this down double click so now we have the profit history projected for each customer over 30 years and in order to calculate the CLV we are ultimately going to calculate the sum of this number but this number needs to be discounted by the interest rate as we have discussed in the lecture and the way to do this is to use a formula in Excel called MPV. So this is really the finance concept of net present value or MPV. And so here equals to MPV parenthesis and the first number will be the interest rate. So we have already named that cell interest rate so you can actually use the mouse to double click to select this and comma and then the next parameter we put in is a series of numbers that you apply this interest rate so in this case simply this whole column of the profit and then close the parenthesis and here we are doing a base of 100 customers so divided by 100 now this gives us the MPV per customer. However, this number would be at the end of each year based on what we are calculating uh, because the profit that we get would be towards the end of the year throughout the whole year. And then let's convert that to the beginning of the year. How do we do that? We know that at the end of the year, the value should be lower than the beginning of the year because it should experience a discount. So in order to convert that to the beginning of the year, we simply use this end of the year CLV times one plus the interest rate. And then enter. So now we have already calculated the CLV at the beginning of the year per customer based on this setting of retention rate and interest rate. So it's $141 per customer. And the interesting question to ask is, what if we have a higher retention rate? What happens? Or if our customers are more loyal to us? And let's say from 80% to 90%, so 0.9. And now you see there's a drastic increase of customer lifetime value. And Therefore, the retention rate is really a very crucial number here for deciding what the customer lifetime value is. Excel actually offers a very useful function data table to conduct this calculation on CLV at different retention rates. To do this, you need to keep this layout. So these are the input you want to vary. On top of the cell, this is where you put the value that you are calculating, in this case, the CLV, and then enter. So now select this area. So remember, this CLV has to be here, and these various retention rates have to be here. That's how Excel would recognize the layout. And now go to data, and what if analysis is here? click on what if analysis then you will see you have three choices and what we need is data table so for data table you're going to see the row input cell column input cell and then here the column input cell excel is asking you what you are going to vary in order to calculate this cell v and here what we are going to vary is actually the retention rate. So select the original retention rate here, and then Excel is going to know that these retention rates represent the retention rate here we use for calculation. Now click OK. That's it.
So instantly, Excel is going to use these retention rates to substitute this retention rate and then calculate the CLV and then put them here. So as you can see, let me conditional format this. Color scales, green is good. So as you can see here, the retention rate is extremely important for CLV. If you can retain 99% of your customers each year, your CLV is almost four times the baseline here at a retention rate of 80%. Now, what if I want to check out how CLV varies with different interest rate as well? So both retention rate and interest rate. So the data table function, it allows you to vary on two dimensions. That's the maximum data table can handle. And then the layout for two-dimensional data table is as follows. So you need on top left corner, this is the value that you want to target. That is the CLV and enter. Then you lay out the different retention rates here and then the different interest rates here. And this is the layout requires and select this whole region. And now go to data and what if analysis, data table. Now we are going to use both of these parameters. Remember earlier, we left the row input cell empty and we only put in column input cell. Now we can put in both. So the row input cells are the interest rates and then the column input cells are the retention rates and then click OK. And that's it. So now let me expand these. And then again, let's conditional format this. And then now you can see that both the interest rate and the retention rate are very important. And when the interest rate is low and when the retention rate is high, you achieve the highest CLV. So look at this. If you have 99% retention rate and 5% interest rate, your customer lifetime value per customer would skyrocket to more than $1,500. And this also gives you a direct idea of why low interest rate is really important for the stock market because we have talked about CLV can be associated with firm value. And if CLV increases, firm value would increase as well. That concludes this video.